In this open dev training, we'll have a look at the different parties that are involved uh, when accessing data, uh, when you as a fleet service provider are enabling factory telematics. To do that, let's have a look at uh, a diagram that uh, displays the end-to-end -end, um, flow. By looking at this, we start from the fleet operator. So, of course, the one who can authorize you to activate cars are the owners of the fleet. And uh, that is also your customer or potential customer who you're working with. So they are the ones always um, who has to have to give the agreement and consent for you to use the data. And of course, they do that because they want to use your service, for instance, your fleet management service, and they want to use that and they want to get the data from their vehicles uh, to see general health of the vehicles, trouble codes, warning lights, um, and also geofencing and other features. So the fleet operator uh, gives the agree uh, agreement to you and that is always kind of managed through your existing contracts and how you have those things set up. Um, and that is up to you how you really uh, manage that collaboration and partnership. The other part is the, the fleet driver. So um, that is also responsibility really for the, the uh, fleet operator, um, but in some cases, it might be also something you can help the fleet operators with, and that is to make sure to inform the drivers of the cars um, uh, and if really needed, uh, also capture consent depending on the use case and depending on what data is being collected. But the fleet driver is, of course, part of this, uh, um, a part of this um, whole picture because they are the ones generating the data. If it, for instance, is, comes down to driver behavior and uh, and location data and of course they need to also be taken care of in, uh, in uh, GDPR and data protection terms. Then it's you and of course you as uh, we, we work a lot with our partner network with different service providers. You are also our touch point for uh, the contract um, where with high mobility for accessing that data. Um, and so first step once you have your first fleet operators that have agreed to uh, activate their vehicle data and to get that data into your platform, into your solution. That's the point of time also where you can activate it towards us. Um, and there are no other touch point between high mobility and the fleet operators, but we manage that together with you in the contract. And our business is, of course, to deliver the data uh, from the manufacturers to your service uh, as soon as you activate uh, the first cars. Um, Using any of the delivery methods that you have chosen from push data to pull data depends again on the use case and how you set those things up. Between us and the manufacturer, that is everything we take care of on the other side. So all of the different brands we support, we have existing agreements and we have the different technical interfaces that we work with. Uh, and as soon as we get the instruction from you to activate the list of VINs through our API for the fleet operators, so your customers, we go ahead and activate on the manufacturer's side, who then starts to collect that data from the vehicles. So usually it is an asynchronous process. As soon as an activation request is received, a vehicle receives an instruction to collect that data and then starts to upload that data at, um, at the frequency that uh, is supported by the manufacturers and starts to push that data to us. And then you can, of course, in your solution, present that to the fleet operator and they can use that information for their everyday business. So that's all the kind of parties involved. Each party have their own responsibilities and own, um, own the tasks to perform to make all of this work. But in the end, that's how we enable factory telematics and how fleet operators can use that using your solution. Thanks for watching.